Jews and Arabs refuse to be enemies. And this is the same message that brings me here today. The message of Arab Jewish unity, partnership for peace, and a shared future. That means an end to occupation, an end to settlement expansion, no to annexation of Palestinian territory, and no to the Israeli government's assault on our liberal democratic Jewish values. Yeah. Right. We gathered here, uh, we were here and many of you a month ago, and it was the first time for us that we'd organized something like that, that we said, okay, you know, Americans for Peace Now, yes, you know, we go to meetings here inside all the time and, and talk with the ambassador and talk with the staff about the different pieces. Okay, oh, way better. Excellent, points for David, thank you. Uh, whoever it was, I appreciate it, because I was yelling a lot. But it was the first time for us standing outside and saying, yes, we are protesting the government of Israel, right? We objected to many actions and many policies and many things before, but to stand up and say, we're protesting this government, we're protesting its, its very basis, literally the, the coalition agreements that they made to come together. And we said it last time, I'll do the really short version this time. You know, we are also standing here though, speaking up for Israel for the Israel yes. that we care about, yes. Yes. for the Israel that yes. we believe in. One where there is democracy, one where there is equality, one where there is justice, and one where hopefully there will be peace. Yes. Because all of us, and we're standing here, we know, in the shadows of tens and now hundreds of thousands of Israelis who are coming out every week, and we'll see how many show up tomorrow night, right? All of them, uh-oh, uh, there we go. Right, we're standing here echoing their voices because Israelis are making it loud and clear that they too are opposed to what this government is doing. And they're opposed to the judicial, and they're opposed to the attacks on the LGBTQ community. They're opposed to the total lack of religious pluralism. But, and very importantly, they are also standing up saying they are opposed to the occupation. They are opposed to the way that this government is expanding settlements. They are opposed to the way that this government is moving ahead with its quiet little stealth annexation. And, and we are going to stand here and make sure folks in the embassy, folks in Washington, and folks around the country know that the American Jewish community stands with that voice too. So thank you all for being here today. Yay! Today we want to express our deepest concerns about the path Israel's new government has taken. Every day we hear of threatened new actions that will undermine its democracy and rule of law in Israel and that will further entrench its occupation of the Palestinian territories. These actions threaten the civil and human rights of Israeli citizens and the rights and the very lives of the millions of Palestinians who suffer under its military rule in the West Bank and de facto in Gaza. We stand here in solidarity with our Israel family who are fighting every day for a just and equitable Israel and for a homeland that our, that our ancestors dreamed of. We are here because we understand that the only path to that dream is through ending of the occupation. We are here because we believe that Israelis and Palestinians deserve the right to self-determination and freedom under the law, and that silence in the face of injustice is complicity in that injustice. Yes, yes. yes. Um, Again, as, as he mentioned, he's speaking today on behalf of Partners for Progressive Israel, coming back from his new Israel Fund fellowship and having also previously worked with APN and probably at least three of the other groups. So thank you for living it. The chair of the J Street U chapter at American University. Thank you, Lane. Really loud. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me to be here today uh, to speak. This is an incredible opportunity to really recognize each other as, as allies in a struggle. Sorry. <laughs> Can you hear me at the back now? 
a little bit? All right. Um, really recognize each other as allies in a fight for a more progressive uh, region that, that recognizes all of the inhabitants of the land. And I really just want to speak to uh, the campus situation because there's always some think piece or another running about how difficult it is to talk about Israel on campus and how much of a, a flashpoint it is. And I really think that they fail to capture the full scope of it because on our campus, at the very least, we are asked to uh, be quiet in some ways. We are asked to not raise our voices to speak to especially Jewish traditions of justice and human worth. And we are asked to remain silent in the face of institutional power. And we really, it, it, that feels like a, a betrayal of our Jewish values on campus to not be able to, to speak up in, when we see injustice, um, even when it's in Israel. And we really, we, we, we don't want to, to have to be quiet and to be asked not to make waves because one of the most famous Jews of all time, Moses, very famous for making waves in an effort to bring a people to liberation and coincidentally is the Torah portion for this week. But we really are, are looking for, uh, you know, some, some perhaps backing, but we know that we are also in, uh, in the right fight on the right side of it. And it's really always heartening to see folks from outside the community who aren't students, although there might be some here today, some students. Um, but it really, it really makes us uh, quite, it, it helps us gain, keep our footing um, and, and really continue to, to fight for the, the justice that we want to see. And of course, everything that, you know, I, all the complaints I could lodge about what we at J Street at AU have been told to, to be quiet about goes double and triple for Palestinian students and Palestinian rights organizations on campus. They have been being silenced far longer than we have, um, although the fact that it has touched even us now is, is just a mark of how far and how, how uh, you know, difficult it, it has become to, to fight for justice in this, in this region and in this uh, overall struggle. So thank you all for, for coming out and, and putting this together. And thank you to Americans for Peace Now. I have met many of probably your coworkers, um, and they're all really wonderful, committed human beings. So thank you all. Jabo shalom aleinu, O 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 jabo shalom aleinu. And so we will be in touch and we will be here together in community and I thank you all for being here and for all that you are doing. Shabbat shalom.